Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. I hope you guys are having a good day. What's going on with you, Squishy? What do you mean? You don't know. You just said it was gross. Oh, wait. I think I know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> that is kind of nasty, huh? No, 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 no. He's, yeah, he's feeling frisky. We're not messing around with that. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I don't know what's going on with that, uh... Procoptodon. I hope she gets what she she wants. Anyway, guys, um, today I thought I would experiment with something cool, and that is the dragons, the ghost dragons. We have not tamed one yet, and I'm really looking forward to taming one. A lot of people have been talking to me about Rexus, saying that they are not viable against the um, the big boss because they can't fly. So. Ideally, we want ghost dragons, and you can't tame those with gunpowder. So, don't get me wrong, the darts won't go to waste, but for now, we really need something to tame a ghost dragon with. Now, <laughs> I've been looking into this, and I have plenty of magic arrows. Uh, I think my Quetzal will be, about, be able to outfly them. I'm not too sure. I should have brought my Gorgol. But the thing is, I think that on a Ballista... I think I'll do all right. Now, the ballistas, you can mount them on the back of a Quetzal. And uh, inside the ballistas, you can make these things. The bolts, okay? So you need silver ingots, which I got. You need magic wood, which I have. You need primary magic core, or primal magic cores. Oh, no, primary magic cores. And you need thunderstones. And I got plenty of all that stuff. So how many can we make? We can make... A lot actually <laughs> quite a bit I really hate using all my silver up like this oh actually only three because we're short on magic wood that is not a problem ladies and gentlemen we currently live next to a magic forest where there are tons and tons and tons of trees around so let me just grab some of this fidget if you will just be patient and stay there 21 only so far Oh, we got a lot more mage weave bark than I expected. We need trees, man. Trees. Let's grab right here. And then just go back down and grab these. And we'll see how many we need with this. It, I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. I'm thinking that the ballista turrets will will help. I mean, the magic ballista bullets. The, the description, on, I'll read y'all the description. on It says it's used to tame... Big creatures. And I mean, a dragon's one of the biggest, right? Like, as far as I know, I don't know if there's anything bigger in the game. Yeah, yeah I think that's the biggest one, man. Um, maybe the Mega Rock or the Golem or whatever. Well, this is that's the second of biggest flying creature. The Quetzal's pretty darn big, you know? Yeah. I don't know if it's just as big or bigger or whatever, but let's get away from this griffin and see what we can do. So, with my partial map that I had got last time, I still know about where everything lies. And I did want to take some insurance precautions, you know. Um, so I decided that I was going to build a little old, um, kind of like a trap uh, for the dragons. Just in case I couldn't get away from it or, or anything like that. And I built it over here. It's, it's ghetto. Don't get me wrong. It's very ghetto. Uh, but it should be all right. Also, before we really get close to a dragon... I'm going to want to build the rest of those uh, those little b ballista deals. And it's cold out here. Let's put our let's put our PJs on, Squishy. All right. Now, where was... I got a pin mark in it. There it is. Or there's the, the pieces of it that we have together. There we go. All right. There's a Reaper there. The Reapers, that's another thing I didn't really mess around with. Let's see how that works. The Reapers, I know that they're they're pretty strong. I mean, they're not ghost dragons, but they're a strong flying creatures, so we could see about that. Let me just land right here to make sure I have plenty of stamina. And, oh, that's kind of scary. What? Oh, did it? Oh, it messes up because of the, um, the ballista tur- Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. 
Well, uh, this, this kind of stinks, Squishy. This kind of stinks, man. I literally cannot get off the Quetzal with the Ballista turret on it. That guy's stuck. That might be a decent team right there, too. Okay. Apparently, it's just when it's flying. So, landing, I can. So, I'll have to... Well, not, not, actually, I was landed, wasn't I? I, I literally don't know what to do now. Okay, more magic ballistas, turrets, there we go. All right, so, and primary magic was the only thing that we need, and we can get plenty of those around here too. So, will this just go into the ammo slots here? Will, will it just work? Let's, let's load it up and see. I mean, it doesn't, oh yeah, it, it, it is showing. It is, okay, good. Good, that's exactly what I needed to know. All right, so what I need to be able to do is access this thing as I'm moving. If I get off right here, yeah. So maybe it was just because um, <laughs> Fidget's head was in the way. Oh. I don't know either, but we're going to have to try. Anyway, let's go find us a ghost dragon. Here's a couple of them, guys. They're all over the place over here. Okay, what we probably need to do is get kind of close to one, but not too close, right? This is going to be pretty scary. He's eyeballing me over there. He's eyeballing me. All right. The bad thing is, too, they can really do... So let's see. Let's get one. I don't know if they're going to come close enough for me to just shoot or if I should get a little close to them. Oh, that was some, that was some lag. Uh, here goes nothing. Did I just hit... I just hit us with that. That is that is not good. That is not... This is not good either. Alright. Did I just hit him? Alright. We're out of ammo, guys. We're out of ammo. And the ghost dragon is all over us. Um... Hmm... All right, I'm safe apparently I'm safe. I don't know how much damage I did to this guy But I'm <laughs> the ballista turrets did not work. I repeat they did not work. I think if I had a second I think if I would have had I got a couple of ballistas in him I think if I would have had a second man that was helping me out that would have been better But I think I might have got a ballista bullet in 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 my in, in my Quetzal too All right, so we just got to get him Underneath. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I did it wrong. Where are you at, buddy? Yes, yes. Okay, you gotta come way out here. Way out here, I, I said. There we go. He's coming. Alright, let's bring him low. The trap is kind of ghetto. <laughs> I'm saying very ghetto, right, Squishy? <laughs> All right, turning around. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, I know. I'm freezing. I'm aware. It's snowing on my face. All right. And for some reason, I have two of these doors that are open. This is not what I wanted. All right. Did... Is he, is he still with me? I'm not too sure. Hold on. Did he lose interest? There he is. There he is. There he is. Hey. 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 Is he trying to kill something else over here? Yes, apparently he is. All right. Dang it, man. Now where'd he go? He literally just left. He Maybe he saw the trap and freaked out. And now he's just gone. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right. Do I have to smack you in the face? I got him mad. Back toward the pen. Back toward the pen. At least I could stay away from this guy. That's the important part.
It wouldn't be bad if I could hit him with a couple of arrows, but I'm pretty scared. He's He gains pretty quick from what I can see. There's another dragon right there. All right. Come on in. Come on in. All right. And aim down and let's see if we trapped him. Bruh. What is going on? <laughs> they just stopped following me at the trap. It's like they sense it. Oh, no. You will come into my trap. You will do it. That one's going the same way as the other one did. What is even going on here? All right. Enough of the Quetzal nonsense, guys. We're going to try it with a gargoyle. Let's see. That's the one of the level fives. That's another one of the level fives. Apparently, there's probably some more around here, but... Tell you what, let's just smack one. Don't light me on fire. It's gonna hurt a lot if they do. Okay. First of all, we gotta get him low. So he's gotta come low. Let's rest a little bit. Oh, there was a werewolf coming too. How close is he? Alright, we gotta get him on this side. Very low again. Not out of render distance, though. Hit him? Yes. I did. Okay. Alright. Straight line, buddy. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. And I think I've got him trapped in there. Oh, I don't know if I got it or not. Yes, I did. He's trapped. He's trapped. All right, there's all kind of stuff around here that I'm going to have to fight, I think. Hold on. Maybe not. He can breathe on me from here, so i got to be really careful. Yeah. <sighs> and that Reaper's still right there. I wonder if that Reaper's stuck. Aha, uh -huh. I can hit him from here. Look at that little old corn I'm shooting him from. Okay, let's be careful here. Let's whistle passive to make sure Store Hollabag doesn't do anything drastic or rash. And let's see what I could do here. I wonder if you're just going to try to fly away. Well, if you just stay right here, this will be great. Me and you's going to get along real good if you do that. <laughs> I don't know if he could hit me from here. Bad thing is, I don't know if I could hit him from here. There we go. Alright, he's back in the corner. Alright, well, yeah, we could shoot you in the butt. Am I cold again? I hate the cold, guys. I hate it. Ouch! Ouch! What's going on now? I don't know what just hit me. Is it a werewolf? Oh, the Reaper's out. Oh, well, this ain't good. This ain't good. Maybe I could lose him. Maybe I can lose him. Yeah, you stay away or whatever. Ouch! Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm burning. Okay, let me go down and use my heal. That's intense, man. That's intense. Alright, keep that Reaper away. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Now what? Now what? Oh, it's a sport. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spore cloud. I didn't even see that sucker. And there's a werewolf man. This is such a terrible place. Terrible, I tell you. I wonder if we could just dig a hole underground and get him from there or whatever. Tell you what, let's go ahead. I don't want to lose the progress that I've made on this dragon. These Reapers are mighty close, man. 
mighty close. Okay. I think we are right. Oh, he's gonna mess up the gate right there, too. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the gate right there. This is just a bad spot. All right, Star Holly, you, you let me know if things are going wrong, man. That sports room could stay put right there. Finally. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got him down. Okay, so earlier, I killed an Argent with Storholler back. Let's see if I got any raw thigh meat. I do. Uh, the spoil time on it is pretty hellacious, but it, it it is what it is. I think this is the right food for him. I don't know what else these suckers would eat. I don't know what else they would eat, but I'm going to put some food on them and see what happens. Yep, it says taming. All right, I just need to go make sure it has enough meat on it to secure this puppy, and we're going to get this tamed up, guys. All right, guys, there you have it. He's up. Big level five. Not the most insane level in the world, but I, I'll tell you what. I mean, we proved the point that we could tame these suckers solo, you know, because not that many uh, people play on the server. Uh, speaking of not many people playing on the server, back in the day, it was pretty easy to just recruit somebody to help you when you needed it. And, um, well, guys... It turns out that uh, Ghost Dragon Saddles are kind of beyond <laughs> my limits here. I'm only level 77, and you need to be level 80. Well, I mean, we're almost 78, uh, but I think we're going to have to get some more XP and stuff. Um, so, we can convert this guy to Pig's Block, and maybe right now we can... You know what? I might have a saddle at the house. I think I got a Ghost Dragon Saddle before from one of the drops. Let's go check it out so we can at least try this out. If not, we'll borrow one from somebody just so we can at least play around with them and see what they're all about. All right, guys, let's see what we got. I'm almost positive that I have one here in my rares chest. I sure hope so. I, I seem to remember getting one from Yellow Drop. Dragon, bam, apprentice, ghost dragon saddle. We going out the front door. Going out the front door, baby. Snowing and everything. All right. Flaflam. And Flaflam. <laughs> yes, yeah, Squishy. Oh, baby. Gorgeous. Fire. I love it. Hey, <laughs> that was the that was the that was the humpy kangaroo. So how much stamina does that take? We have, how much stamina does this thing have, first of all? Stamina is, ooh, 600, okay? I'm gonna press X here, and let's see. The range on this thing is pretty severe, huh? All right. Um, that took roughly only 30 stamina, really not bad. They're pretty fast, honestly. They are pretty fast. Is the cooldown pretty? And they hit for about 160 at a time for a headshot? Come on, guys. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Pretty cool. We can get these guys out of our, uh, out of our fountain and field, too. They are, they're actually pretty fast. Dang it, I didn't get him on the way down. I didn't get him on the way down. Oh, he's trying to escape now in the water. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at levels and see how they do. Will you land, Blay? Will you just land, please? There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Hold on. I heard an elemental spirit. Now, this is what we test him on. Let, let's go ahead and bring up some melee damage first. Damage... 100, 102. So they go up. 
about two apiece. 173 at a time. Very nice. Yes! Burn it! Elemental spirits are rough, man. Yeah, burn. Burn, sucker. I'm going in. I'm gonna bite its face. Bite its face, man! Got it. Very nice. That should have been a good chunk of XP right there. Oh, baby. Up to 117 now. All right, so we got in a little bit of fighting, and even though it was on the ground, I didn't uh, I didn't lose too much stamina, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get used to these guys. But, I mean, flying around with a group of these things, trying to kill that boss, sounds like a good thing. A lot of people have mentioned turrets, too. So I might try to set up some sort of turret deal with some dragons and all this other stuff. You know, maybe even a Rex or two. And, and just lure them into a death trap and just go for it, you know. I know they have some AoE damage effects and they got a really long range attack with that scythe and stuff. But we'll see how that goes. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.